Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So coming to you a little late this evening, um, I tried, I tried so hard to get this video up last night, but we got up at 7 a.m. to go skiing and we didn't leave the hill till four o'clock. So we didn't get home till like 4.30. And you guys, it was a crazy skiing day yesterday. Like it was so cold and it was snowing, but it wasn't like the fun kind of snowing. It was like the snow is coming down and it's like shard of ice and it was like fogging up my, my goggles and I couldn't see. And then I thought, oh, I'll just take off my goggles. And then my glasses got completely fogged over. It was, it was crazy. It was a crazy day. So we came home, sat in the hot tub let the jets work on the the old muscles and um, had a glass of wine and then I went straight to bed. So there was no filming what I got through last week, but I'm here. So um, today we are going to, I'm gonna start with Scentsy and then I'll move on to Vendor. So the first one that I wanted to talk to you guys about is Toasted acorn and oak from Scentsy. And toasted oak and acorn is toasted acorn and creamy chestnut roasted over golden oak brings warmth to a crisp evening. And you guys, this scent is beautiful. Um, it really, like, it almost has like a caramel note to it. I know that caramel is not, it's like roasted chestnuts. But that roasted chestnut, there's something about it. There's like a creaminess to it. And um, it was freezing last night. So um, we enjoyed this scent, which was really nice. Then we did, I'm just trying to finish this up. This is Be Merry from Scentsy because I just don't want it in my collection for another year. And Be Merry is Joy Abounds in Pine Bows dotted with Holly Leaf and Cassius, and this is just a perfect tree kind of, there's a little bit of a berry tone to it, but it's like one, it is like just the epitome of a Christmas set, and, and I love this scent. Then we did, <laughs> Just trying to finish, I only have one cube left of this, so I'll probably finish this up. This is Born to Shine, and Born to Shine is nectarine and pear blossom boldly take center stage, while cashmere musk offers a warm and livening encore. And you guys, this one is so beautiful, so beautiful. It's, it's kind of like a perfumey scent, and it's perfect for the bathroom. I really wish that this bar would come back. Then, funny story about this, Plumeria Peach from Scentsy. Ripe pineapple and luscious peach blend sweetly over a bed of blooming Plumeria. So you guys, this is a powerhouse. And I had this going in my office and it went for three days. So good. Now, um, for any of you moms out there who have boys, um, my son is getting to that stage. How do I say this nicely? Like he's starting to get a little bit of a stench in his room. Um, it's not, it's not bad, but I know he's like just at that point. So I was like, okay, this is super strong. I'm gonna put this in his room and then I can at least tolerate it when I go in there to put his clothes away after doing laundry. You guys, this scent does not mix well with boy stink. I'm just telling you. Um, <laughs> it's, I don't know, but it does not, it doesn't cover the stench. It blends with it and it makes a really, really weird scent combo. So, um, yeah, if you're trying to freshen up a little boy's room, I do not recommend this scent. Then we did, so, okay, I'm gonna share this 
combo with you guys because it was super funny. So, one night I did Britta's Creepy Treasures, which is a Ouija, which is Cider Lane, Boo Berry, and Nutmeg Spice. And I just thought that this was going to be like a nice berry scent. Um, but it kind of turned into a leathery scent and it was, it was nice. I really enjoyed it. But when I put this in my warmer, like I had the idea that it was going to be like a kind of a berry scent with that blueberry in the cider lane. So in alternating warmers, I put angels among us from Rose girls, which is blackberry jam, butter cookies, strawberry shortcake, and salt water taffy. So this one was amazing. This almost gave like uh, a cheesecake vibe, but like a blueberry and a strawberry. It was so good. However, because I had these in alternating warmers, <laughs> my husband came out into the living room and he goes, what is happening in here? And I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, what do you have in warmers? And so I told him what I had. And I said, what, do you not like it? And he goes, no. He's like, I'm so confused. My nose is so confused right now. He's like, I feel like I smell leather. And then the next thing I'm smelling this super sweet, like cheesecake scent. And so we kind of laughed about that. So um, yeah, these two don't really go together, <laughs> but they were super good. I enjoyed both of them. Then let's see, let's go to, I'm trying to keep these kind of in order with the vendor. So we did um, Mulberry Pomegranate Cider Winter Candy Apple from Broadway. You guys, this was beautiful. It was such a good like cider, um, like if you know Winter Candy Apple from Bath and Body Works. It was like that mixed with like a cider. So it kind of had a kick to it. And I really, really enjoyed that. Then we did uh, Salem's Lot, which is Bite Me White Cake and Pink Sugar from British Creepy Tre Treasures. And this one was a really nice apple scent. Really enjoyed that one. Then this one was gifted to me from Dye. This was Lavender and Speckles Roasted Pine Cones. I'll tell you what guys, Lavender and Speckles has a great roasted pine cone. I did notice like kind of on the back end, this one had kind of like a little bit of a powdery note to it. Um, but it wasn't like a bad powdery in any way, shape or form. It just like you had that really strong pine cone with like a little bit, almost like it softened it because of that powderness. So, um, I really enjoyed this. So thank you, Di. Thank you for sharing this with me. I really enjoyed it. Then this one was... I think this one was gifted to me from Summer Michelle. Thank you, Summer. Um, this is from Southbound Candle Company, and this is Cotton Candy Soda Pop, which is strawberries, raspberries, sugared candy sweetness, spun cotton candy, musk, and the bubbly effervescence, effervescence of soda pop. So, I like a really good, like sweet scent, but I think this one was a little too sweet for me. So I don't know that I would repurchase this just because it was really, really sweet. Um, then we did Dude from the Melt Stash and Dude is her green apple. So good, so good. Um, and that's all it is. It's just green apple, like tart, tart green apple. And I really enjoyed that one. 
Then at the office, I did from the Melt Stash, I did Strawberry Wafer. And this one was really nice. Several people came into my office and they're like, oh, it smells really nice in here. So it was like a strawberry, but it almost had kind of like a waffle cone vibe with it. So it was, it was really nice. I enjoyed that one and my coworkers enjoyed that one. And then this one, I just, I finished up from last week. No, I take that back. This is a different one. This is Flitter the Butterfly from Vintage Chic Scents. And this is Raspberry Jam, Cranberry Jam, and Fresh Picked Strawberry Jam. Holy moly, you guys. This was the most beautiful jam scent ever. And it went for like six hours. It was so good. So I'm kind of bummed that I was late um, to get on to the Vintage Chic Scent um, train because now she's closed. So I am just going to thoroughly enjoy everything that I have from her. Then just a couple more here. I did um, sugared strawberry from the pharmacist's daughter, and this was strawberry white cake, jelly donut, cotton candy, and sugared waffle cone. So this was a nice strawberry. Lasted for, I don't know, about four or five hours. Um, but the only thing that I got from this was strawberry. I don't think that I got jelly donut or, or cotton candy or the sugared waffle cone. When I was melting this, the only thing I smelled was strawberry, and I and I enjoyed it. It was a, it wasn't like a super strong in your face strawberry. I would say it was like a medium throw, um, and it lasted like four or five hours. So I was on an apple kick this week, you guys. So I did manic Mario Madness, which is Macintosh Madness blueberry muffin and vanilla ice cream from Rose Girls. And this is just another beautiful apple scent. Um, and I, I had this one actually going in my bedroom this past week. And um, I will definitely be reordering some of this when I place my next order with Rose Girls. And then last but not least, and I did this in my son's bedroom, this is Koopa Troopa Assault, which is raspberry sauce, pomegranate, sweet lemon confection, and marshmallow smoothie. And yeah, this one, you guys, is super sweet as well. Um, I did this one in my son's bedroom, and this actually did very, very, very well with his boy smell. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just, I know he's just going through that, that stage where, I don't know. They, don't, they just don't smell like babies anymore. They're starting to smell like young boys. <laughs> so that is what I got through this past week. Um, thank you guys for spending a little bit of time with me to see what I got through this past week. And um, if you are not currently subscribed to the channel, I would love if you would subscribe. And if you would like to be notified when I upload new videos, then hit the notification button and you'll get notified every time I upload a video. So um, thank you, happy Monday, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.